Algebra 2 CRAM, New York State, Algebra 2 Regents, Common Core, Trigonometric Function Basics, Unit Circle, Concept Number 7, Arc Length and Radian Measure. The odds of someone doing exactly what you tell them to do is pretty slim, but I guarantee that if you cram with me, you'll become an Algebra 2 master. What we're doing here is so effective. I'm coaching you to turn your wants and desires of getting an A or perfect test scores into a new paradigm. I want to include everyone who needs a boost in Algebra 2. If I could stick every math student with a syringe containing a healthy dose of eye-opening awareness, of their inner mathematical genius, I probably would. So inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com to order this complete cram session. You have lots of peers, classmates, and or colleagues who could really benefit from this cram session as well. So be sure to spread the word and tell them to inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com so that they too can um, chime in on this session, okay? And you'll want to share this knowledge with them because they'll make great study buddies. Last but not least, the concept of cramming often gets a bad rap, but what people are actually thinking of is hurrying, which is a result of fear and can consequently be destructive. We're not hurrying here, we're cramming, there's a huge difference. Hurrying is jam-packing tons and tons of unorganized information into your mental spiritual DNA over a tiny amount of elapsed time. Whereas cramming is taking quantum leaps in your understanding in an organized way that seems have that that seems to have occurred over like a really brief instant. Okay? Alright, so let's delve into the concept of arc length and radian measure within a circle. Arc length and radian measure, determining the arc length of a circle. What is the formula for finding the length of an arc of a circle, where S denotes the minor arc that we're interested in, and the unlabeled portion is the major arc, okay? But here, when we say arc, we're specifically referring to this minor arc that's depicted. I'll give you a moment to think. Definitely press pause if you need to. All right, so hopefully by now you are able to write out an equation, and if not, that's completely fine. Let's take a shot at this together. So S equals theta R is a formula where S denotes the minor arc, theta is the central angle, and R is the radius of the circle. And what you have to note is that the central angle is measured in radians, okay? So let's say you're given degrees to convert, let's say this were 45 degrees, to convert that amount to radians, you would have um, multiply 45 degrees by pi over 180 um, degrees and the, um, the degrees cancel. I guess I should show you what I'm talking about. So 45, oh, that's a little off. Let me just try this again. 40, sorry for the lag time with writing. I promise really soon I'm going to get like a really cool stylus so I can stop using my finger. So basically the degrees would cancel. 45 degrees cancels with 180 degrees. And you get an answer of pi over 4 radians. Pi is called radians, we're not talking about 3.14, although when converting that happens. So make sure that when, if you um, evaluate this in your calculator, you're like in degree mode when appropriate and in radian mode when you're appropriate. And if you want, want to know how to do that, just inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com so you can order that specific cram session on using your calculator to switch back and forth between degree and radian mode, okay? All right, and likewise, if you're given radians, but you wanna to convert to degrees, your conversion factor is going to be 180 degrees per 
pi radians, okay? And I think for the most part, that's it. And as you can see, intellectual comprehension of this material was not difficult at all. And after the short amount of time it takes to complete this entire cram session, that is the Algebra 2 cram session, you'll be able to answer a battery of questions about Algebra 2 concepts. So inbox me at memedicine at gmail.com to order this complete cram session. Thanks for watching.